We've got another great property tour. I'm Stephen Ellis with Ellis Properties, and today we are checking out a Craftsman farmhouse style home in Heartland. The home is going to be located in Aldi, Virginia at 24016 Little Leaf Court. It's a single family home, just over 5,600 square feet on 0.2 acres. I'm going to show you why. You shouldn't really pay attention to acreage sometimes when you're looking at homes because this one feels like it's on a lot bigger plot than it actually is. So let's go ahead and get this home tour started. So right when you walk in the door to the left is your living room or your dining room, depending on how you want to set it up. And then to your right is a huge office. I absolutely love those huge windows to your right. They are almost from the floor to the ceiling lets in a ton of natural light. They overlook your amazing front porch there. And this home, as you can see, is situated there at the end of the cul-de-sac. So it's on a really, really good lot. Absolutely love being on the end of cul-de-sacs. You're gonna have a lot quieter street than a lot of these other roads here in Heartland. Giving you another look at their dining room. I personally think it would make a great little living room sitting area. You could make it more formal, but I know a lot of people don't like to go that route with their space right now as far as living rooms and dining rooms go. Working our way into the middle of the house, you have our kitchen and then you have a huge, huge island. Has the center focal point of that. Some great chandelier light fixtures kind of hanging there from the ceiling. And then just giving you a look of if you were doing some dishes, hanging out in your kitchen, what your view is gonna be like. You've got your family room directly off of the kitchen. And I, I love the floor plan, I don't know what else to say. It feels like home as soon as you walked in this house, you've got the light coming in from all of the windows. This huge island, great for entertaining and just the flow of the home makes it just really feel homey for a lack of a better word. You've got quartz countertops, brand new appliances. This home was built in 2023. It was lived in for a little bit uh, by the owner. It's really, really hard to tell that they actually did live here, but they did. This is a van meter home and it's the Belmont model. They did do a couple of the additions here. So you're gonna see uh, the pantry and then the office in the back, as well as that bump out are all additions that you can do on the Belmont and they continue to through all three levels. So I'll be sure to show you that. Just wanted to give you a feel for the kitchen here. So they did a lot of upgrades here with the, the new handles, the pull out trash cans, you've got quartz countertops, the backsplash. Everything in there is really nicely done, very bright, very open, very airy, and the whole house kind of has that feel for it. Just off of the kitchen towards the back corner of the house is a huge pantry. Absolutely huge. You have room for every appliance possible back there as well as all of your snacks. Everything you need in a typical pantry is all back there. So just off the pantry is a second office. So if you did want to finish, maybe that front office has your living room, you have that option and then maybe you keep that as a dining room and then you keep this as the actual office, you got that option. And then you have your garage space. Pretty empty in here, but great room for storage. You got some high ceilings if you wanted to put any type of storage hanging from up there, you have the option to do that. And then, uh, I don't know if you saw that real quick, but they did have an electrical vehicle charger already built in, which is a great feature. So you got your little sitting dining area off to the kitchen there in that bump out. And then we're gonna go check out outside. So they have a Trex deck, the PVC railings going throughout. And as I mentioned previously in this video, this lot is only 0.2 acres. So it's not even a quarter of an acre, it's a fifth of an acre, but it definitely feels a lot bigger than that. So you have your backyard, which by any stretch of the means isn't huge, I'm not gonna be honest, but off of the house, because this home is on the side of the cul-de-sac all the way down to the end of the street, that's an open lot. They're not gonna build there. It's not a buildable lot, so you have a ton of extra space. And I like that they didn't put a fence in because then that would really box you in and show you how small the lot is. So the fact that they kept it open, didn't put a fence in, really feels like it's on a half acre almost. And I think they did a smart thing with that. 
Working our way upstairs, you notice first that they kept the LVP flooring through the stairs and then into the little landing area here. And then they also kept it into the primary bedroom. So some of the other bedrooms did have carpet, but they kept the hardwood LVP floors up here, which I love. I mentioned that they did do a bump out. And so that little sitting area is where the bump out continues. There was the dining, uh, eat-in kitchen space right below it. And then you have your little sitting room in this space. So this floor makes the, the primary bedroom feel a lot bigger. Giving you a quick review of the vaulted ceiling in there. You have a split closet, his and hers, on the left and right. One of them is a little bit bigger than the other. And the second one is kind of nice because even though you don't have a railing going across, you got that window letting in some natural light towards the back of this bedroom. All right, this is the showstopper of maybe the entire house. I don't, the kitchen's nice, but I love this bathroom. And I think it starts here at their tile choices. It's not your standard run-of-the-mill, uh, you know, one foot by three foot huge tile that you would typically put in a bathroom. They went a little bit, uh, I guess, designer route, and I think it really, really shows well. But can we talk about this amazing shower? There's tile on the floor, so it's not a shower pan. It runs from the floor all the way up to the ceiling. You have your small sitting bench there and then the dual shower heads, which is really, really nice for the primary bedroom. You've got your split vanities, one on the left, one on the right, and then that huge soaking tub is kind of like the focal point, surrounded by windows in there. Absolutely love it. They did a great job in designing that space, and I think that's one of the places that when you're building new construction, you want to spend some money on. You're going to spend it on your kitchen, and you're going to spend it in the primary bathroom. The other places you can kind of upgrade as you go and notice that's kind of what they did here. So they stopped the LVP flooring. There's carpet in this bedroom. So I think it was a really smart thing to do. You don't have to spend a ton of money in putting those floors everywhere. Just upgrade as you go. The longer that you live in some of these houses, you can upgrade them to the way and style that you like. And sometimes you are limited by what the builder actually offers. And you just go basic. Put in the standard non-upgradable stuff don't spend a ton of money on something that you don't absolutely love and then upgrade it when you're done and ready so that bedroom had the ensuite bathroom and then working our way towards the front of the house we have two additional bedrooms each of them are roughly about the same size not huge closets but you do have this jack and jill going between the two granite countertops for your split vanities there and then just a pretty standard shower, nothing crazy in here. They did do a little bit of an upgrade on the tile work going all the way to the ceiling. But again, this is another good example of just doing some basic stuff. Don't go crazy and upgrade it as you go. All right, so you got a feel for the four bedrooms on the upper level. There is one additional bedroom down in the basement, which we're going to show you. But quick look at the laundry room. Nothing crazy in here. You've got a little storage. You've got your utility sink, washer, and dryer. We're going to work our way downstairs now. So, But I did want to stop and show you the powder room, which we definitely forgot to see on the, the first walking tour. Just giving you a quick look. They did paint it a nice dark navy blue. They keep the gold fixtures kind of going throughout with the light fixture there. Really nicely done. So now let's go downstairs and check out the basement. The basement isn't crazy by any means. They did keep the carpet down here, which for a basement is fine with me. Um, a lot of times it's a space for kids and children to run around. You're gonna entertain. So have something comfortable down there. Have something that is easy to clean, is gonna hide maybe a couple stains here and there is my best opinion, especially have, having kids. That's the route that we went to. But just taking a look around here, it's absolutely huge, wide open. There is a little wet bar that they did. And then again, they have that bump out going all three levels. So down here on the basement, it still kicks out. And the fact that this basement is a walk out instead of a walk up lets you have those huge windows. You're going to get a ton of natural light. It's not going to feel like a dark, dingy basement. Taking a look at some of the storage here. They could have finished this room off for an additional bedroom. You definitely have that option down the road as the next owners of this home. But I think 
they have enough bedrooms probably uh just additional storage is fine giving you a quick look at some more storage the utility room you've got your sump pump water heater hvac system all that good stuff this home was built in 2023 so all that stuff is going to be brand new still under warranty even under the new purchaser and now we're going to check out the fifth bedroom you got your egress window checks all the boxes for fire hazards all the fire codes you have your bathroom down here full bathroom with a shower toilet sink all the good stuff there was also no additional door that you didn't get a chance to see but it did connect the bathroom to that bedroom so it is truly an ensuite but you also have access to it from the rest of the rec room hopefully you all enjoyed this tour if you're not familiar with heartland in all the virginia it's time to get familiar with it it's an awesome community they're still building some homes a lot of the lots aren't fully released yet so uh, it's tough to get a new build, but you're also starting to see some of the resales start to pop up. Uh, there is a little bit of turnover, not much. It's hard to get into, but hopefully you enjoyed the tour of this Belmont model from Van Meter. Be sure to like and subscribe for all the great places to live and things to do in Northern Virginia.